Hey guys, Kevin here. Yesterday in my stream, I mentioned a very cool application. So in case you missed that, I thought I'd do a dedicated video and talk about it. This is it here, WinDirStat. And what this allows you to do is look at your disk, look at your storage in your computer. And this is very useful if you're trying to free up space, if you're trying to work out what's being used up in your computer, like, you know, which applications are using the most um, storage, etc. Sometimes you can't always get that in the uninstall area. And it's very, very useful. You can see here at winderstart.net, it is free to download. And the reason I downloaded this is because I had a problem where the, a Windows update failure was eating up all my hard drive. And this allowed me to find out what was causing it. The, the, this program is what determined and what pointed me in the right direction, sorry, uh, of what was happening. So, um, right, for some reason it's kind of popped up at the side here, but um, you can see here at the side, um, I've got the C drive and, and all that. So what I'm going to do, I'll click here and it's going to scan them. So I should be able to move the window now. Here we go. So what it's doing is scanning my drives. Okay, uh, and there's a lot of options at the top, but to be honest, I haven't really used them. I've been using this in a very simple way. You can see clean up. Um, you can delete, zoom in and all this. But you'll see in a second what happens. It's scanning my C drive, it'll scan my D drive as well. Now, how I've been using this is, you can see the little Pac-Man kind of working at the side. But what I did was sort by size. So, you can see there, 50 gigabyte here, and it goes all the way down. So you're going to have a lot of folders. Usual suspects have got a lot of, uh, a lot of storage being used. For example, with me, Dropbox was um, using up a lot of room. My YouTube videos where I was storing them before I put them to a backup drive, those were taking up a lot of room, things like that. But there was a lot of storage in um, like Windows directories and things like that, and this actually uh, pointed me to the right direction. So it's scanned now, and this is my C drive. Um, it's, okay, I've just scanned this, the C drive. Now, down below, the bottom half of this is kind of like a visual rep uh, representation of it. And look, if I click on this big red one, here, Hibernate file, 12.7 gigabyte file. So um, I might actually look into disabling hibernation, and if I did, if I did, <laughs> if I did, if I did, did, then um, I, you know I, I could see, um, I, I wouldn't have that in my in my C drive. I could eliminate it, and and this that's what I love about this because it really does point you in the direction, and 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 highlight what's going on. So you can see here, Hibernate file, the page file as well is taking up some. Down here, there's an install.esd file, which I don't know what it is, but this is the beauty of this. You, you figure out what it is, you you, you use Windows Start, you see, okay, 3.0 gigabytes used, being used up by install.esd. It's probably some sort of Windows install file, I'm not sure. But then you go and Google it, you find out what's wrong, and then you move on. There's other things there. There's a log that's being used, and again, all you do is you, you Google what these things are for. Because right now I don't. But you see, a lot of these are actually in the recycle bin. So if um, I can bring up my recycle bin, and then what I'll do is I'll actually I'll recycle them. So I'm going to recycle, uh, clean my recycle bin. It's freed up about five gigabytes there, and you know that could change. I don't think there's a, either as refresh all, so there's a refresh button. It will scan it again, um, but that really that's all. That's how this works, and that's how I've been using it. You, the the visual part at the bottom with the larger boxes, it, it kind of points you in the right direction of what's going on, and it's really really useful because, for example, if you've got like a a, a two terabyte drive, and then you've only got two hundred uh, gigabyte left, and you're like, what is using up all this space? And this is going to point you in the right direction. You can delete things, you can move things to external. Hard drives, you can burn things as well. As I said, you can search this way as well. So, for example, there's Windows.old. I mean, this is obviously like a, a Windows installation. The old version of Windows is taking up 17.4 gigabyte. So now I can go and Google how you remove that directory if it's not necessary. Um, within the directory, the 7.5 gigabyte being used up here. And it should lead me to it. Now... Again, it's it's slowing down there. I don't know why. Um, again, but this this is just kind of taking you to the same place that the the, the visual representation would do. You know, just clicking on one of the images. 
But you can see here that the, um, if I sort, well, that's sorting by percentage. If I sort by size, should be the same. Um, you can see if I, I was going to make it maximize, but that will come out the window. You should be able to see that, for example, the backup one is using 264, the temp is 242, but you can see that the actual parent directory is 7.5 gig collect, uh, collectively. So again, um, I won't dabble, uh, rabble on too much more about this. For some reason, I keep talking like an idiot today. <laughs> um, but this is it here, windastat.net, free to download. It's for Windows, sorry Mac users, I'm sure there's something out there for you guys, but I came across this and this is one of the apps now that I just install all the time. I think it's really, really useful. And, you know, if you're ever analyzing what's going on in your hard drive, um, without a doubt, you know, something's going to be happening here at one point and I'm like, why have I only got 50 gigabyte left? I've not been using that storage. Then this is when um, I turn to Windows Start. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you find it useful and I'll speak to you all very soon. Take care.